I called the breakdown recovery guy to come out. Yeah. He's come out. Uh, she's got no coolant in the car at all. He's filled it up and he's managed to drive it over here to have another look at what the problem is. Okay. In the meantime, he's come along with this guy here um, and they've given a ticket for being there. Because the car's driving. No, excuse me. I'm speaking at the minute, mate, please. No, excuse me. No, no, no. You can wait. I don't, I no, you can wait, you can wait. I'm talking I'm to him. To I'm talking to him. You can explain it to him I've after. I've done my job. Right? Now, she said, I've broken down. You call the police, whatever, you know what I mean? But I've broken down, I can't move anywhere. The, the recovery guy's coming. He's, in the meantime, he's got there. By the time he's got there, he's already issued my wife a ticket. Okay. Um, see, obviously, they'll put it down as a driver error. No, the car has cut out. Okay. It's broken down. She it stopped. End, Excuse then. me, mate. It stopped one time already by Matterland. Yeah. And oh, she managed right. to drive it on or whatnot. All right. All right, go on. Yeah, the vehicle cut out. So basically, I've had to put the scanner in to get it out of limp home mode, yeah? Because okay. it's lost all its coolant, yeah? It's put the range in just safe mode, yeah? Okay. Where it won't let it start up. That's how these Vauxhalls are, the new ones, yeah? So basically, I've had to put the scanner in to just temporarily disarm it, yeah? So I knew once you get around here, it'll cut out. And that's exactly as soon as you shot around here, because I escorted here, because we're holding up the road. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? The idea is to get into safety and then I'll check it over properly. Because I'm, I'm just causing inconvenience. We've got loads of motorists first thing in the morning. Yeah, yeah. And she's got three kids. She's not getting a kick out of it, holding up the road yeah. and wanting the £30 pound ticket. She could probably spend that on her kids. You can probably see the common sense to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's no use like this chap letting your ego speak because that, that's not the way forward. Okay. You know, you've got to talk with fairness. You know, It's yeah, a genuine yeah. situation. It's, you know, and that's the way it should be addressed with some you know, leniency, if that makes sense. That's all I'm trying to so say. So can you tell me why he's actually had to give her a ticket then, please? Because, you know, bearing in mind, I've come half an hour away to come and try and sort this out as well. You know what I mean? Because I know I've got three kids in the car, two of them going to school, one of them's a baby. I've come back. Well, while I've got here, my wife's in tears. Yeah, she, she was crying and that because... And she day, told me, she asked this man to call the police. Now, she felt intimidated and whatnot, and she said she's called the police. There's two flaming grown blokes here. My wife isn't missing, she's got three kids with her. Do you understand? Now she's got a ticket on the car for breaking down. Um, well, regards to the ticket, um, obviously you'll have to appeal against it. Um, but obviously if you get this man... You know all the. Yeah, I'm going to give him paperwork yeah, anyway. If you get and all it's the all on the breakdown data. No, but so. why did he even give her the ticket in the first place? Um, I mean, I, I, is, I, are I you just putting inexperienced people on the road that can't evaluate the situation and just give tickets willy nilly? And because it's a woman, you feel like you can empower her and give her a flaming ticket. No, no, because no. if it was me, you wouldn't have given me no flaming ticket. This is what I'm trying to explain. Um, obviously, I can't talk for his actions so obviously he he deemed it like he should, he should I did my job I radioed that's what he's been I'm he's talking to this man I spoke to you you didn't want to know I'm talking that's to this what man he's been instructed to do so obviously he's had um, spoke to the office oh, and they've instructed him to issue the no he didn't speak to the office I he just gave her a ticket to the office I radioed through and asked and I was told to issue I'm just doing my job I made a judgment and I decided to issue the ticket you made a judgment yeah no not the office off. so did the office do it or did you do it I did it. So you just said you did it. I've got it on said, tape what yeah, you said. That's fine. You said you did it or you I said asked, you asked, asked, asked the office. That's no, you made the judgment. You no, didn't, I didn't make the judgment. The office told you to issue it. Yes, or did you they issue told it? Me to issue to it. I radioed through while I was there. So when did you make the judgment? After I radioed through to the office. And they told you to issue yes. it and then you yeah. made a judgment to yeah. issue it? They told me to issue and I did. That's two mate two judgments, is that right? Anyway, the situation is, yeah, that ticket should not have been issued, should it? Um well, obviously, if it's if it's on restriction, um, and he issued it before he was before this gentleman came. He said he issued the ticket because the car started. You've just got the the um, the um, you know whatever he sorted out from the the breakdown recovery guy, and he said the car cuts out. Yeah, um, obviously, because it starts, it goes into breakdown mode. That, that's what we're instructed to do. If if the vehicle can start. Then obviously but it's gone into breakdown mode. The yeah, car's gone into breakdown mode. That's why the car is flaming there. The yeah. only message that came up on the dashboard was that the engine coolant was low and the engine started. That to me isn't something that... Um, oh, there was, the there there was no coolant left in there. Yeah, yeah. All right. But yeah, just get all the paperwork off, off the gentleman for the breakdown. Oh, I and then, see how. 